good afternoon to all of my uh, uh, viewers. I hope you all well. Today I decided to make a video on certain uh, common succulents that generally you always see in the nurseries. But I have to show you these common succulents that generally are very low price and they are in the nurseries. When you keep them and train them, you can become, make them become a very pretty bonsai shape. So uh, let's go and introduce uh, this group of 21 different succulents that they are pretty much common in the nurseries. But among all these comments, there are certain that they are really not that common among themselves. They are more rare. The first one, as you see, a very gorgeous Echeveria, known as Rococo. This Echeveria family has 150 different species in the family that I am going to make a video about many of the families and at this time that I'm speaking to you if you refer to episode number 114 I made a video about some of the Echeverias that among the good ones however Echeveria is cent uh, actually growing in Central America Mexico and Northwestern America the second one is Crassula. Crassula capitella, which is commonly known as red pagoda. I have made the episode number 94, 95, and 97 about the Crassula family. This is a very beautiful family of the succulent that they growing worldwide, mostly in Northern uh, Africa and uh, Northern and Westphal. The third one is known as Echeveria. It's one of the very good variety of the Echeveria, as you see, has a very gorgeous uh, leaves structure and also at the edge of the top of the uh, or tip of the leaves you see there are pinkish so generally uh, this sort of varieties are uh, not very common and is good uh, and gorgeous and I really like them and I'm sure that in this video you will learn about them and then you uh, look to get some of those they are good, nice, and beautiful variety. I have to tell you that uh, this uh, uh, variety of Echeveria has a common name, and the common name that mostly is used is called seashell. The fourth one in this group is one of the succulents that honestly is my favorite. It's called Anacapseros. Anacapseros uh, is very beautiful uh, and variegated succulent that is commonly known as variegated sunrise. They have a very beautiful pink uh, flowers, which you see right here. And also, if you if the flowers is pollinated, they become seed, as right, you see it right here. So growing this technically is very easy by cutting. So I'm going to also make a video about this family. This particular family grows in Southern Africa, Ethiopia, and Latin America. Number five in this group is known as Crassula ovata. 
or dwarf jade. They are look like jade, but it is not really jade. It is crassula. And uh, another name of it is uh, minima. They can become a very beautiful bonsai plant. I try to make this one look like a very beautiful bonsai, as you see, and they get a very beautiful uh, darker and reddish color on the edge of the leaves. The next one is known as Cotyledon tementosa or commonly known as a bear's paw. They have a very beautiful succulent leaves and they are having the points of the reddish on the edges of the leaves. And if you concentrate, there are technically line of the green and yellow on surface of the leaves. They are very beautiful and uh, many people really love them and uh, I grow these. Uh, they are very easy to grow and they do not give you any problem at all. Except they cannot take direct sun. So if you put them in a direct sun, they may get damaged very easily. Uh, please refer to uh, Episode number 94, 95, and 97 to get more about the information on this plant. But also in the future, there are going to be a couple of videos. The next one is Clanchoi, that uh, commonly known as tiger, but botanically is Clanchoi himilis. They are very nice uh, textures on the leaves, very beautiful structure of the uh, red uh, vein or red lines on the surface of the leaves. They grow pretty much nice size, but you can also keep it very compact as you see and you can uh, keep them in the house where the, there is a lot of light and air flow like a kitchen window. Uh, they do not get damaged if they are in a direct sun. The more sun they get, the better the color of the red become. So uh, it's among the very strong uh, species. They are mainly 125 uh, species of the Clanchoi that exist all around the Madagascar and uh, Tropicana uh, Africa, certain area that the weather is more Tropicana in Africa. The next one is sedum. This sedum known as Furforasium. Sedum furfurasium is a member of the family of the sedum that there are technically 600 different species in this sedum family. They are technically from uh, Northern Hemisphere and lately extended to South Africa. They are very beautiful and uh, this one is very old but they do not grow very fast, but they are not even getting growing to the large size to become out of hand. They are pretty gentle and nice, and they can become a very beautiful house or patio plant. The next one is Clanchoi. This Clanchoi which is known as Clanchoi sensipala, has a very beautiful uh, structure of the growing. So it's very symmetrical as far as the leaves 
and the color of the leaves is technically all green but the edges get dark red however they grow very large and they have a beautiful white flower they can handle as much heat and sun as it is so they are not very delicate they are very strong uh, choy, uh plat the next one is um, eolium or technically black rose this particular variety are as well as strong as the uh, Kranchoi family. They are uh, very tough. Uh, they are having a very high, strong resistance towards heat. As you see, they have a very beautiful dark red color. And the more heat they get, the more reddish the petals get. They are technically very high heat and sun resistance type of succulent. So you're not going to have any problem by having this in um, direct sun. There are 35 different species in the Eonium family. So some of them are more greedy, some of them are larger uh, petals like this and they get much thicker so I have a video coming up about this family so please when it is posted watch that video to get some good data about it the next one is Crassula ovata variegata it is look like jade, as you see, but it is not jade. It is crassula. The reason is called variegated because you see there are edges that is lighter and yellowish and due to the heat, they get pink, but inside is green. It's a very gentle, nice growing succulent and they can handle very much a lot of heat. But if they are in a direct sun, you may get some burning on certain areas of the edges of the petals. But the plant never gets damaged by the heat. The next one in this group is Crassula, yeah, I'm sorry, uh, Eonium kiwi. This Eonium kiwi is a very colorful and nice Eonium that they get very beautiful on the petals. The reason they call it kiwi because it's sort of greenish, yellowish, color and sometimes this bud gets much larger and prettier i have so many different variety of this particular one that i'm going to post some video about it they are known as a bonsai tree and generally one of the most is interesting about this plant that it grows certain root and the root comes and reaches the soil and create very much a strong and protective feet for every of these branches so again this one also among the very strong as you see eonium family generally I just introduced this one to you. So they are pretty much the same type of shape body structure, except the tops are different color. Sometimes it's very, very green. Sometimes it's more pinkish. However, 
I will do a video, as I said, and introduce many of these varieties, which they are technically all together. There are 35 different species. The next one is Echeveria. This is a very unusual type of growing of Echeveria. And the reason is this, because what I did, I cut the top a while back ago, and then the plant started developing many heads, as you see, all over. And uh, became very beautiful shape, which I hope you enjoy looking at this particular Echeveria. The next one is known as Graptopetalum, or commonly known as a purple delight. This particular succulent is a master of creating a body. Look at how the body become. I want to show you the way the body start developing and become very nice a structure of the body. They are very, very low maintenance type succulent and they can create a very beautiful shape and I'm sure you guys are all enjoying this sort of the body structure. Look like a bonsai. Grapto petalo. Beautiful plant. The next one is known as Crassola ovata gloom. Crassola ovata gloom, which is look like jade. I have seen some people call it a different type of jade, but this is not a jade. This is Crassola. I made a video about this family video number 94, 95, and 97. Please refer to that video and learn more about this particular family. The next one is Echeveria olivia. Echeveria olivia is a very lavishing, gorgeous succulent that they grow in masses of the heads and they also create branches that they run all over the pot and they can be used for hanging plant. The color is dark green with a shade of black around the petals. There is something similar to this that it is in a different family but they known as the Levistic which I'm going to make a video about Sepivera family also which is a very large family similar to shape of the Echevera but they are different family. The next one is Golden Sedum. Golden sedum is a master of the body structure. It's a very gorgeous color, yellow, pinkish color. They can handle a lots of heat, a lots of sun, but they also can be growing very large, but also well controlled type of succulent if you put it with a, a small pot. I put it with a bonsai pot and you see how the body structure became. Very beautiful branches, very thick and very strong. Look at that, very, very strong. The next one is a very beautiful clanchoe that they are uprising type of body structure they known as Clanchoi Tetraphila. Very beautiful red 
color around the petals, or I'm sorry, around the leaves, and they are very strong, thick, green, and red. This is also those type of kalanchoe that can be used for landscaping and also pottery, patio, and also, as I have said, I'm going to make a video about the Kalachoi family that you will love to see the varieties. I have so many different varieties of this plant, which I'm going to make a video about it for you. The next one is known as Aeonium lily pad. Aeonium lily pad is very thick petals, very strong branches. They can become a very gorgeous bonsai shape, as you see. And they get lots of heads on top of each branch. And if you cut all of these, they grow the same way again with many more buds or heads or top, whatever you want to call it. They are nice and gorgeous succulents. The next one, as you see, is a very beautiful echivera which is known as Echevera lilacina. It's a very unusual body structure. The petals are in masses and well strong plant, very strong trunk, and they grow many different heads all over the body or trunk of the plant and they can become a very beautiful semi bonsai shape type of the uh, species so it is worth to work with it and uh, train it to create a very gorgeous uh, pottery plant out of it The very next one, or actually last one in the list, is known as Graptosidum alpenglow. You probably see this very much in the nurseries, but you never see them this shape. In another word, if you get one of these plants and grow it for a while and train it and clean it, you could create a very beautiful bonsai shape, as you see. It's very beautiful cedar, and uh, they become very nice and gorgeous shape when you keep them for a while and work with them. Means properly clean them up, get the branches out of the body, and every once in a while, wash the body with the water and brush. So this is the beautiful shape you get out of it. So these groups that I just presented to you today are among the common succulents that you see in the nurseries. But generally, many people do not have that much detailed knowledge about them that they can turn to become very gorgeous plant if you are patient with them and if you let them grow very slowly for a long time. At this time, I'm going to conclude my episode with this 21 beautiful colorful succulent i hope you all enjoyed it there was some point of knowledge 
among the uh, details that I have mentioned. I hope you watch this video a couple of times and get a note out of it because there are certain details that many places you probably won't be able to uh, put a hand on it or get those kind of information. If you like this video, don't forget to push the button and give me a thumbs up. Also, uh, subscribe. Don't forget to subscribe to my channel. There are lots of good things that's going to happen in my channel in the next few months. And there are lots of educational detail about succulent and cactus. Please subscribe, share my video with others, send it to your friends. Actually send my uh, name of my channel, Cactus and Succulent Exchange, for your friends and relatives, and leave me a comment. At this time, again, I appreciate your time watching my videos. Thank you so much from the bottom of my heart. I appreciate your time and your uh, kindness. Goodbye now.